Hey y'all, Mrs. E here, and today I am excited because we get to get a better, well, a closer look at this season's battle pass for saviors. I'm really excited. I saw that Maggie skin in the gameplay trailer, I think it was, and I'm just, I'm so hooked on that Maggie skin and I want to see more of it. So this is the perfect opportunity for us. Also, patch notes dropped today, so we're going to get to see uh, that it is in fact confirmed. The Spitfire is coming back. Also, Flatline's coming back. I'm really, really excited. I want to dig some more into those patch notes because I, I kind of want to see everything that's going on. Um, also, so I did, I did see a little, a little rumor floating around that Rampart is in fact getting a buff, which, to be fair, it, them introducing a legend like Newcastle, you kind of need to buff Rampart to keep her somewhat relevant. So let's get, check out the trailer first, and then we're going to check out the patch notes. Don't forget, if it's your first time here, hit that like and subscribe button. Turn those notifications way on. Also, linked in the description below is my Twitch account. Um, I do stream on Twitch pretty regularly. I don't have a schedule this week. Ah, uh, because we got a lot of stuff going on, end of school for mini, tiny human. But um, if you drop my Twitch a follow, uh, I do stream a lot. So yeah. Today's right. victory is all that I directed. When a great threat emerges. <laughs> Woohoo, that Maggie's in. The champions among us must rise. What does it take to be a hero? Hi, friends. Uh. Honor, bravery, resolve. Stand strong. I mean, those are okay. Let me and see that Maggie skin up battle close. Pass. Valiant, fearless, and well mannered. So excited Who's for the armory. Squad to glory in his legendary Sir Fitzroy skin. Back Sir on Fitzroy. <laughs> Well, there's no one way to be a hero. <laughs> Lionhearted legend Newcastle deserves a suit of shining armor. Nice. Ride to the rescue with the molten soul legendary Spitfire. And let no one fall in his epic firewall outfit. Real heroes, get back up. On the other hand, Ooh. if you can't beat them, join them. Embrace your inner dragon as Feral's future bloodhound and torch some right. knights with the winter soul. I mean, that bloodhound fire. skin's okay. It's not like amazing, but. Whether you choose to champion the weak or feast on them, you'll want to get your hands or claws on the Savior's Battle Pass. Oh, there's the Maggie skin. Wait, so is the Maggie skin not like a uh, legendary? Wait, y'all, they didn't even show the Maggie skin like that. They didn't even show the Maggie skin like that, y'all. So I guess these are, I, I'm guessing that that skin isn't a legendary. That is the only thing I can think of because they didn't. It looks like it should be a legendary though. That looks gorgeous. I love it. Um, I still love it. I wish we could get like a better photo of it, but that's okay. The few skin's cool. The Newcastle skin, you know, it's whatever. I didn't see much of Crypto's either, so that makes me think uh, his isn't a uh, legendary as well. The Bloodhound skin's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I don't play Bloodhound though, so you know, that's fine. And then, I mean, Pathfinder's got like 5 million skins, so meh, meh, stupid robot. You know, <laughs> like, I don't really know. Um, I didn't really, I'm excited that a, this, oh, here's, here's a better, I mean, I'm mad that Fuse is um, trying to take out Maggie. So rude, they're besties, none of that. The Spitfire skin. I am excited for the Spitfire skin. That's pretty awesome. I love the Spitfire. It's one of my very favorite weapons. I have hated that it has been in the care package forever. I'm so excited it's coming back to ground loot. Like, so excited. This is my weapon. I have so much fun with it. It was like, let me get a Spitfire and a Flatline or a 301. And I'm perfectly content with those. Uh, so, I think... Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's check out those patch notes. Alrighty. Yay. Okay. So, patch notes are here. All right. So we've got new legend, Newcastle. Duh. Heroic defender. 
For years, Newcastle defended the small town of Harris Valley, making it a safe haven for all who live there. Now, to fulfill that mission and continue defending his home, he'll have to prove himself a hero among legends. In, in the Apex Games, Newcastle can use his knockdown shield to protect his squad mates as he revives them and even drag them out of harm's way. He can charge into the fray with a mobile shield, blocking weapon damage and deflecting grenades while his ultimate erects a fortified castle wall. So passive. Okay, drag allies as you revive and protect them with your revive shield. Who's that remind anybody of? Tactical mobile shield, throw a controllable drone that creates a moving energy shield. Ooh, a moving energy shield. I initially thought it was going to be like not moving. So the fact that it's moving, that, I feel like this is going to be very exciting to play. Because you can throw your Q down. Because tactical is Q if you play on, on, on keyboard and mouse. Uh, or at least it is for me. Uh, so you can throw your Q down technically and then re revive with your passive. That, that is, that is, yes. Okay, this is going to be fun. Uh, ultimate castle wall. Leap to an ally or target area and slam down, creating a fortified stronghold. I wonder if when you slam down, is that going to like kind of make everybody stutter that's around you? I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to play this. All right. Monstrous map update. The giant lobster crab monster. I'm so excited. I am so excited to play the lobster crab monster. Like, I think we're going to call him Fred. He looks like a dead Fred. Drop dead Fred. This is Fred. I'm excited to go exploring Fred. <laughs> Map rotation. Okay, so we're getting Storm Point, Olympus, and World's Edge. We're also removing the longer two-hour rotation block. We felt that could be too long considering it could span the whole play session for some people. <gasps> yes. Okay, good. So ranked is changing. I'm going to let y'all cover that in your own personal time. I don't care for ranked. Crafting rotation. Okay, so Flatline and Longbow are coming out. And they are now floor loot. The Rampage and the 3R1 are going into the crafter. Y'all, everybody and their mom is going to be crafting now. Y'all, I really feel like they should have put the wingman and the 3R1 in the crafter. All of the professionals. All of them would have collectively cried. We would have been able to hear their tears. Kraber nerfed. They've nerfed the Kraber. Wow. Wow. That's a... That's a red tier weapon though. I don't think it deserved to be nerfed. Maybe I'm one of the few people that feels that way, but that, I mean, that's a, that's a high risk, high reward weapon in my opinion. Uh, and you have to be really good with it to hit your shots. So not a fan of the Kraber nerf y'all. I thought the Kraber was fine as what, as it was personal opinion. Y'all, they just pretty much nerfed like all the LMGs. I feel like. Uh, Havoc, improved recoil at the start of the pattern. Well, that's useful. Mozambique and Peacekeeper, increased limb damage from 0.8 to 10. Yes! Y'all, they buffed the Mozambique! That is what I'm here for. Crate weapons, Spitty back to the floor, Mastiff into the crate. Uh, I'm horrible with a Mastiff, so I'm not mad at that, but I feel that. Cells and syringes, spawn rates have been lowered by 18%. At times, there's too many of them, and it's only when you need them can you never find them. So I don't know how I feel about them lowering the spawn rate of those. Rampart improvements. Uh-oh, y'all. So we did, in fact, get a buff for our girl Rampart. Again, we, you know, we were thinking about it. I've, I've been thinking about it a lot. They're introducing Newcastle. They've got to do something to her to keep her somewhat relevant, even though I do believe she's got a little bit of a lower pick rate than a lot of the other legends. Uh, so hopefully this will help her out a little bit. Y'all know we love Rampart. We stand Rampart. We love her. Sheila's spin-up time decreased from 1.75 to 1.25. Ooh, that's a good buff. Up, uh, amped cover deploy health increase from 45 to 120. Ooh, that is a huge buff from 45 to 120. That is fantastic. I am here for this. Amped cover deploy time decreased from 4.25 to 3.6. They've actually given Rampart some fantastic buffs here. This, this is looking good. I'm here for this. 
Valkyrie can no longer freely spin while launching during a skyward dive. Uh-oh. I don't play Valk. I don't know. Any Valks, is this going to bother y'all? Valk Valkyrie mains? Let me know. Out of bounds. When going out of bounds, the following will be disabled. Legend abilities, weapons, ordinances, and survival items. Healing items will not cancel mid-healing. All active passes, Valk jetpacks. Oh, so don't go out of bounds. Ooh, new custom match system. Custom match is replacing the previous private match system. Custom match QOL improvements. So you'll be able to, so we'll be able to have custom matches is what it's looking like. So it's looking like we'll be able to have custom matches now. So that's really exciting. Not bad patch notes. I'm not bad at these. I'm a little disappointed that they've just essentially nerfed all the LMGs, but I'm not mad at these. All right, y'all. And that was the Savior's Battle Pass first look-see that we got. And also those are the patch notes. What are y'all thinking about them? Um, I'm not hating the I'm not hating the patch notes. I'm not hating on them. I'm not hating on the battle pass. I actually feel like this is a really really positive thing for Apex Legends. I feel like they're doing a lot this season, and I'm really really excited to play it tomorrow. Definitely excited to check out Newcastle. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Turn those notifications way on. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today, and I love your faces. Have a good day.